viewers, welcome to Any Faisalate channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get new episodes on Any Faisalate channel. We appreciate African literature on this channel. We appreciate African literary work. And today, we are appreciating the work of a great writer from the eastern part of Africa, Kenya. The name of this great author is Ngogi Wationgo. Ngogi Wationgo was born in 1938 in Kamerutu near Limuru Kihambu in the rural Kenya. He is a famous novelist, poet, playwright and a literary critic, a world-class writer and a political revolutionist. He is one of the forerunners of African writing in the post-colonial era. He attended a missionary school at Kamandura in Limuru Karingi School in Mango, Alliance High School in Kikuyu, Makerere University College in Kampala, Uganda, and graduate studies at Lili's University in England. Ugiwa Tiongo has written a lot of books, but today we are going to look at 10 of his literary works. Are you ready? Matigari. This book was written in 1986, first in Gikiyu and translated by Wagi Wagoro. It is written in the first person narrative to seek justice for the people and fight an oppressive government. In the story Matigari, a freedom fighter, emerges in the post-independence period in Kenya, searching for his family and a new future. Wrestling with the Devil, a prison memoir. It is another literary work from Ungugiwa Tiongo. This was written in 1980 to relate the author's challenges of writing with a toilet paper while he was under 24 hour surveillance in the prison. At this time, he expressed his pain of being alienated from his family, his bravery, and affirmation of hope that an independent Kenya will ultimately emerge. In the House of the Interpreter, a memoir. Ngukiwa Tiongo recounts his school days in Kenya and the moment he returned home and found his home raised down by the British masters and his brother apprehended and taken into the concentration camp. This was the period known as the chaotic Mau Mau insurrection for independence and autonomy in Kenya. A Grain of Wheat, classic edition from African Writers Series. This was written in 1967 to account the author's break from national colonialism and symptoms of the Fanonist Marxism. It is an historical fiction comprising of 247 pages, an allegory recounting betrayal, torture, and uprising in Kenya. The author portrays indigenous Kenyan resistance to British colonial control while using the subject matter that centers on participation in Mau Mau uprising for Kenyan independence. The River Between The River Between was written in 1965 with a background in Mau Mau Rebellion beginning from 1952 to 1956. It has a setting in the late 20s and 30s. It is an exploration on the Makuyu and Kimino ridges of Kenya in the early days of white settlement. The story expresses Gikiyu's fear of the unknown with the coming of a new religion and custom and the division between the Christian converts and the non-Christians. Dreams in the Time of War, a childhood memoir, is a haunting memoir of Unguki's childhood in the era of war, injustice, colonialism, and the relationship between the Christian middle class and the rural poor in the society. It was first published in 2010. Weep Not Child This was the first novel published in English by Unguki Wationgo. It is a story of Unjoroge who loses his opportunity through colonial exploitation and is enslaved between idealist visions. With No Child is an aftermath of the war period in Kenya. Minis of Glory and Other Stories This is an anthology of short stories unfolding the British colonial rule and confrontation in Kenya. The Minis of Glory features the fig tree, the ghost of Michael Jackson, the village forest, the blackbird, hooked by Africa and fighters and martyrs. Devil on the Cross Devil on the Cross was published in the Kikuyu language in 1980. He centers on the influence of corruption on the Kenyan culture. In this literary work, the author shows the virtue of communal thinking and the defiance of modern-day capitalism. The main character, Waringa, lives Nairobi to seek refuge in her hometown and got lured into a competition assembled by the devil on her journey. Petals of Blood Petals of Blood was published in 1977 and is an out-and-out -out description of discrimination hypocrisy and treachery of the peasants in the post-colonial Kenya. It is an appraiser of the capitalist economic system and social ills of the post-independent Kenya. It tells a story of cynicism, 
in independent Kenya and an enthralling investigation of a remarkable triple murder in Midland, Kenya. Today, Professor Ngugiwa Tiongo has written laws of literary works and is currently a distinguished professor of comparative literature and English at the University of California, Irving. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.